Hello, you fine looking individuals, and welcome to another Pokey Boogie video. Let's go ahead and maximize your damage or bravely default to. And if you stick around to the rest of the video, I got a bonus plan just for you. My first method of doing a lot of damage, especially against those bosses, is with the Beastmaster class. And if you want to know why Beastmaster is so great, Click or tap up there. In the beginning, I paired this with a Monk subclass because Monk is very powerful. I want to make sure I at least have two members that are Beastmaster Monk party members. For this strategy, you can use any abilities you want, but for today, I'm going to use Berserker's Indiscriminate Rage. Allows regular attacks to target all enemies at full power, but causes the user's next turn to come around much later. The reason why I like this is because when you enter a boss fight, you don't know how many enemies there will be, so this will take care of that for you. Next, we have Rangers Who Dares Wins. The user becomes more likely to inflict critical hits and also immune to blindness when BP are at one or higher. Those critical hits are necessary to deliver maximum damage on those bosses. Next, we have Phantom critical amp critical hit damage is increased by 30 percent again improving on that critical hit damage and then shield crafts fast hands any speed reductions caused by equipment in either hand become speed bonuses instead and with this strategy you can use any abilities you want but for today i'm gonna use these next you want your healer of course gonna be Beastmaster mixed with white mage you can have whatever abilities you want but i'd recommend Beastmaster's mp saver reduces mp consumption by 20 percent Pretty awesome. And next, you want at least one spellcaster. So I have Beastmaster with Black Mage Sub. You can use any abilities you want, but I'd recommend Beastmaster's MP Saver. So we have two Beastmaster Monks, one Beastmaster Healer, and one Beastmaster Spellcaster. You want to default to max BP. And once you have max BP on your two Beastmaster Monks, go into Martial Arts. Head over to Invigorate, which boosts your attack power. Heal is needed or default. Once you come back around to the Beastmaster Monks, hit Martial Arts. Max Brave. I like to use Focal Blast, Firebird, and two Flames of War. Nice! As you can see, this leaves the attacker vulnerable, so you want to heal them as soon as possible. Rinse and repeat for your other attacker. Because of Firebird, they have Fire Resistance down. I'm going to take advantage of this with my Mage. Max Ray Firaga. And Rinse and repeat till the monster's down. Booyah! This next strategy comes from Eros Knight. This is combining the monk moves with Pictomancer's abilities. So for this strategy, I'm going to main Beastmaster, of course, and I'm going to sub monk. To do this strategy, make sure you have Pictomancer's sub job BP saver. The BP cost of using sub job abilities is reduced by one. This is important because monks move pressure point. Perform a powerful physical attack on a target that ignores physical defense and default status. Normally, this costs one BP, but with that Pictomancer ability, it now costs nothing. It's a free hit. I'm gonna go in with three of these warriors and one healer. Brave for max BP. Once you have max BP, head over to martial arts, go to pressure point, max brave, and then it's time to take out the trash. Booyah. This next strategy comes from Van Noah. You want at least two to three vanguards and another person with a Pictomancer class. For this strategy, my setup is two vanguard monks, a white mage Pictomancer, and a vanguard bard. Say that three times fast. Vanguard bard, vanguard bard, vanguard bard. For usual, default to max BP. With max BP, with the vanguard bard, go to singing, hurts so bad, max brave, and raise that attack power. With the white mage Pictomancer, go to artistry, indefensible teal, max brave, and get rid of his defense. Now we're plus 60% physical strength and he's minus 35 physical defense. With your Vanguard attackers, go to Heroics, Neo Slash, Max Brave, and beat his face. If you noticed, each one of those cross slashes was two hits. I was like 9,999, 9,999, that's 9,999 times eight. Let's just do it again. Pretty clean fight. Man, seeing all that damage puts a smile on my face. You know also puts a smile on my face? Clicking that like and subscribe button. Here comes your bonus. Here's another overworld boss in the bushes next to this gravesite. I wouldn't fight it until at least you're level 60. I'm gonna use two Beastmaster Thieves, one Beastmaster Healer, and one Beastmaster Bard. Against this boss, what you wanna do is you wanna max default to max BP. Once you're at max BP and you have your Bard ready, max Brave hurts so bad. Heal is needed. Indiscriminate Rage, all these enemies away. Once the enemies are gone, now your setup can begin. Default to max BP. Heal is needed. Once you get your bot at max BP, max brave hurts so bad. 
Now your beast thieves are ready. Max Brave, Godspeed Strike. Not bad, eh? Surprise bonus. I'm going to show you three more overworld bosses. There's one. Red fire armor. That's two. Bloating grandpa. That's three. And why are finding these bosses important? Click or tap up there. Thank you for commenting down below and sending out strategies on how to maximize your damage. If you have any other damage dealing strategies, comment down below. I want the community to know we need to break this game. But if you're thinking, boogie boogie, my job levels aren't even that high. Well, I have a video right here. I can help you out with that. Thank you for watching another Pokey Boogie video. If you have any other strategies on how to maximize your damage, comment down below. I want the community to know. Stay healthy, stay strong. Catch you next time.